everybody in today's video we are going to continue with uh, more of anthropology we are going to define today a few basic concepts uh, relating to science and how anthropology uh, use science to test and generate hypotheses and how also anthropology is of course one of the social sciences and how anthropology is anthropology is seen as a science accepted and the different methods that we use in anthropology to test hypotheses and to arrive to conclusions first of all what is science this is the basic definition according to the anthropology science is simply a way of asking and answering questions is a method of inquiry about the world how and why things happen and all this requires the generation, testing, and acceptance or rejection of hypotheses. Meaning scientists look around, they, they look at the universe, they, in the case of anthropologists, they look at people, society, human beings, culture, biology, how and why things happen. Then through all these patterns, they generate hypotheses, test the hypotheses, reject the hypotheses, and arrive to conclusions. All of this is called a scientific method. And this is very interesting because through observation, through experiments, anthropologists are able to establish patterns, association, connections, and then they generate hypotheses, as I mentioned. All of these, then they arrive to or come into what is called deductions with all this knowledge, all these hypotheses, they, they deduct and are able to make, make predictions according to all this knowledge, according to all these hypotheses that is being tested. All of these predictions are simply or become later on new data, new information, new uh, discoveries new ways to understand people, these patterns, this new knowledge now available to the world thanks to this scientific method used by anthropologists all over the world. Now, anthropology as a science. Uh, I mentioned before that anthropology is considered a science. Why? Because it attempts to explain, observe phenomena of human biology and culture and it, do, it does so by generating and testing hypotheses, meaning that anthropology looks into different cultures, different societies, biology, human biology, and then they are able to generate, they gather all this data, all this information, and they test it. They check if this is true, accurate, wrong, right, and then we arrive at conclusions that and all these attempts, as I mentioned, are simply attempts to explain and to better understand society, to better understand a culture, different people from all over the world. Now, when anthropologists use all this knowledge and they test this uh, hypothesis, they need to be very, very care careful with preconceptions. Because we cannot judge other people, other culture, according to our own standards. This is called ethnocentrism, as we explained in one of the previous videos. Meaning, we need to not to um, follow any bias, we need to be impartial when we analyze all the culture and society systems of different people, different cultures all over the world. So. Science is always constrained by what? By what we already know. Science is con constrained but by what we still don't know. Science is constrained by the available technology that we use to gather and to test the data. Maybe we don't have the technology today to really arrive to the right conclusions, to the right uh, results when we test these hypotheses. So we need to consider also this. Because that's why when time passes, technology improves, we have new scientific evidence that comes out, new research, because we have now new instruments, new methods, and new uh, knowledge available to really test, improve, or reject all of these theories in the, stu in the study of human being, in the study of biology. 
Now, preconceptions, in this case the science, also constrained by influential social and cultural trends, as I mentioned, each could be each anthropologist all over the world, each human being belongs to a specific culture, within a specific context, within a historical context, within a society with different norms and values. Therefore, we need to be careful not to let these kind of preconceptions interfere with our judgment or with the hypothesis that we are testing. So all of these are factors that we need to realize and uh, in this case, very important for the study of anthropology to reject all these bias and also this is a very very good concepts and definitions that we need to explain. So uh, again, anthropology is a science. Why? Because it attempts to explain observable phenomena related to human biology and culture. And again, we test all these hypotheses using the scientific method, we arrive to conclusions, we make deduc deductions, connections, we are able to make prediction trends within a society, and all of these we either accept or reject this hypothesis, and then we have new data, new information, a better way to understand people in culture in different societies. In the next video, we are going to continue with all these topics related to anthropology and hopefully we're going to discuss more about the famous uh, scientists who really um, gave us a lot of knowledge and a lot of definitions and concepts within the field of anthropology. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. See you next time.